Right, so oh, everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is going to be opening up and checking out this interesting booster pack for this game called Pirates of the Spanish Main. Uh, I don't really know much about it other than inside this booster pack. It contains two ships, treasures, and more. And I believe they're like cards with uh, cutouts that you can pop out pieces and build tiny little, I guess, Spanish ships or colonial ships. I'm not really sure, but I think it's like a pirate battle game. Uh, where you build these ships and somehow verse each other. This is the unlimited editions. It includes everything needed to play. It's a constructible card game. Really like that right there. Pretty sweet. It's a different take on card games and booster packs. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to open it with you all and check it out. It says, construct your fleet, assemble your crew, and command your sea dogs as you hunt for treasure and sink your enemies. This game pack contains two complete ships, crew or treasures, an island, game rules, and a dice. And a die, really. Uh, for player ages 8 and up. I've never heard of this game. It's called Wiz Kids. Uh, just spotted it uh, looking online the other day for interesting things to make videos of. And this came to me, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to really check it out with you all. I like building things. I like uh, booster packs. I like car games. And this is kind of a combination of everything. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to check it out. This came out in 2005. A company called Wiz Kids. Uh, duh, let's just see what it says right here. There's like a, the company I bought it from, I guess they put a, their own barcode on there for their own tracking system. What does it say under here? It says, rarity key, treasure generic, common, I guess uncommon and probably rare. I'm not really sure. Let's see if I can get this off. Uncommon and then rare as well. So I'm, I'm guessing in the corners or something, there's some sort of marker. And uh, what, what else does this say? Mm, I don't know. Warning, small parts uh, for children, ages three and up. And uh, let's just open it up. You got two battleships on the front, Pirates of the Spanish Main. And supposedly, there's two pirate ships in here. Let's see what it's about. Very thick pack, a little bit bigger than regular uh, trading card packs that I'm used to. And there it is. It's the smallest little dice in the world. That's so funny. No way. It wasn't. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a paper dice or something. But no, that's an actual tiny little dice. That is fantastic. Would you look at that? Oh man, this is a blast. <laughs> this is fun. I wish I knew about this when I was younger. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Look at this. This is the smallest dice I have ever seen in my days. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> it's so little. It's so cute. Well, that is so much fun. <laughs> oh man, I'm probably going to get a kick out of the dice. More than anything, we'll see. And uh, let's just look at this. It looks like, uh, let's set aside all the pieces first. It does come with a whole bunch of stuff. Looks like you got treasure, some nice, like, laminated cards. Almost feels like a credit card. It's not, um, cardboard. It's a thick plastic, like a credit card or something like that. Wild. All right, so let's just go through the paperwork. Looks like I got an island here. The cutest little dice I've ever seen in my life. Um, the complete game. Now you have mastered one ship, it's time to make a fleet. Search for treasure, hunt your enemies in a complete game of Pirate Ships of Maine. I'm not sure. Yeah, the English got pirates and you got uh, the Spanish. And they're fighting each other in this game, I believe. Free auction. Uh, placing treasure. Setup. This game can be played on any tabletop or flat surface. Each player rolls a six-sided dice, uh, re-rolls ties. Uh, the, the player who rolls the highest results in first player. Uh, the other is the second player. Uh, interesting. So you place islands, uh, winning the game. The first player to get more than half of the starting treasure measured in gold uh, to his or her home island wins the game. So I guess you just go around trying to get treasure back and forth. Interesting. Um, placing islands. For a 30-point game, we recommend using six uh, islands, starting with the first player. Player takes two, takes turns placing an island. Uh, no more than four L from any other island. Uh, once island has been placed, the second player chooses which island will be the home island uh, for the first player. The first player places his or her ship on that and then bows, measured from the front of the tip of the ship to the first mast, touching the island. I guess uh, so. You each set out the islands. You pick the your your home island, and then this is your turn. You got once per turn. You got cannon ear. Uh, once per turn, one of the ship's cannons may shoot. Again, if it misses, captain three, the ship may move. Uh, and then shoot using the same action. Explore. The ship may dock and explore a wild island using the same move action. Helmsman. The ship gets S to her, uh, to her base move. Uh, Musketeer. The ship gains one cannon that may not have 
uh, its range or cannon roll increased. It can shoot from any mast, even an eliminated mast. We've got oarsmen. If uh, derelict, the ship gains a base move of S. The crew takes up the cargo space. Shipwreck. Oh, shipwright. The ship may repair at sea ride. So I guess you just like go around trying to collect treasures and stuff like that in this game. The person who get half of the starting treasure uh, wins. This looks like to be a checklist. Wow, there's a whole lot of cards on here. Looks like there's 121 cards. I'm not sure if that's ships in total or whatever. It looks like the checklist, uh, Royal F Fortune, uh, Crew... What about this? These are ships, I believe. HMS uh, Oxley. Interesting. So just like a checklist. Wow, it comes with a whole lot of things in these packs. This is a very well-made uh, game, it looks like, to be honest. I wasn't expecting to get all of this inside of a booster pack. And then another information pamphlet right here to show you how to make the ships. It does. Pretty sweet. So it's like a model, a card game, and a... A model, a card game, and some sort of like board game as well into one. How cool is that? And a booster pack, which gives you like uh, the chance option as well. You never know what you're going to get. Important, uh, the long side kind of shows you how to build it. Set your table like this. You got your ship, your wild island with treasure on it, and then use the forms to make your ships. Uh, cargo capacity, base move, cannon ranges, uh, card number, number of mass, special abilities. Hence, the card number will help you match up the pieces of your ship. All right. And then, uh, what's this? Does it show you about moving? So you use the length of a card to measure how much it moves, I believe. And then you use your dice to, uh, to roll. Interesting. So if you roll a number that's on their other opponent's ship, uh, they're hit. Interesting. Something like that. All right, let's just look at the cards themselves. Look at this dice. It's so tiny. Can't get over it. So it looks like it comes with an island. Let's pop out the island. Got myself one little island right here. This island is made out of cardstock. What does it say? It says 2004 Whiz Kids right there. That's it. Got an island. There's two of them. There you go. Set the island in the space field. And then supposedly you get two ships. Looks like I got a captain. You pop this out. It does look like it pops out. Got Captain Blackheart. Five points. Captain Blackheart. This ship may move and shoot using the same move action once per turn. You may eliminate one of its ship's crew to give her extra action. Wow, so you kill one of your crew to make it do more. I'll put him on the island because he's probably bad. Angus Scammy came to the Spanish main in the brig of his uh, prudence. He escaped the gallows and gathered his roughest crew in the Caribbean. Blackheart shows no quarter to his victims or crew, and he has killed many of... Uh, many of both his uh, for his amusement and his profit. He still bears the scars from the duel. He fought with Jack Hawkins over Lady Arcadia de Sol. And he still nurses the grudge that goes with it. This is a rare card, I believe. Rare 30. I could be wrong. Let's just see. Where's 30? Captain Blackbeard. So it looks like I got myself a rare pirate. Cool. And then it looks like I got a rare ship as well. Uh... HMS Europa. Looks like it's got eight points, got one ship, one sail, one ship, uh, two SS, and then cannon number is three. Not really sure what that means. And you got cargo capacity, you can only hold one. You got the. Oh, because it only can hold one. Base move is uh, SS, and then my cannon range is three. Interesting. So let's pop out these cards. Let's see what it says in the back. The crew of the sloop. HMS Europa live in fear that the Commander Temple uh, will again come abroad on a scouting mission. And let's pop out these pieces. These are made out of like business card, uh, not business card, like a uh, credit card. Very thick plastic. I wasn't sure if it was going to be made out of cardboard and uh, apparently it's not. Very cool. And I believe this is the length that the ship moves. You got the white length and the red length as well. So you don't want to get rid of these, I don't believe. Let's see how easy it is to build uh, the ship I guess you put these two together. Oh, you kind of bend them. And where's the top? Okay. I believe you bend them. And then you place them together. Let's see how easy it fits. There we go. Kind of snapped in. You can see it bend around uh, the boat. Now the second piece. And it did snap into place. I wasn't sure if these would just like fall apart. 
Let's see if I can get this second one in there. There we go. There is the base of the ship right there. And then there's also... Where's this flag go? Maybe you put the flag on at certain points in the game. I'm not really sure. Or like this. I'm not really sure. I think I'll put it just on the top of there. I don't know. And then you got the mast as well. Look at that. The tiniest little boat. The HMS Europa. Gonna put it by the island. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot of fun for me. Uh, looks like you got treasure and a crew. You got a musketeer. Three points. It's a pirate musketeer. The ship gains one three cannon that may have its range or cannon roll increased. It can shoot from any mast, even an eliminated mast. So you got myself a musketeer, a crew member right there, and then uh, also some treasure. Again, these ones is made out of thick plastic. And pop out all the pieces. Here we go. Everything pops out very easily. What an interesting game. So I got a bunch of treasure pieces. I got nine of them. And then it looks like I got another ship as well. This one looks way bigger. This one looks way bigger. So this one can have four and eight people and SS. And then its cannon rolls is way bigger. So this is a bigger ship it looks like. Uh, what is this one called? La Joya de Sol. Something of the joy of the sun. The ship gets plus one to her boarding rolls. Okay, this is, is it a rare? 73? Let's see, I don't really know. It is an uncommon, I believe. And in the back of it, what's it say? As imposing armed merchant ship, the Jewel of the Sun can move quickly with the large cargo built by uh, Constantine. Uh, construction consortium of uh, merchants she was outfitted with decent guns but her crew is trained in little other than repelling borders okay let's pop out these pieces it looks like i got a bunch of tiny little flags here as well this is so much fun lovely so i got this ship as well set this here this one definitely came with one many more pieces got the big sails you look at that Mini sales. Let me guys know if you ever played this game when you were younger or still do play it. I'm not sure if it's still around. Um, I just saw it and I thought it was extremely interesting. Okay, let's see how easy it is to build this ship. Okay, so you start with the base. Obviously, you got the base. You want to have the decal facing upwards. Then you want to bend a. Hold up. Interesting. Let's see. Is there a way that tells you how to construct it? Or I'm just going to have to guess with it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Real quick. I don't want to bend these pieces. I'm not supposed to. Alright. This is the three-mast boat. Bend to fit. Okay. So you take this back part. And you stick it through here. I want to have the decal actually facing upwards. Wait, this is not the correct way. I want to take this one. There we go. Stick it through there. Alrighty. This one here. What a fun little thing. You get to construct these ships and you get to battle them. How cool is that? Then this looks to be the front of the ship. Let's go ahead and take this front. Here we go, then it says bend to fit. Bend to fit, I will. There we go. There you go, you get the dock, the different levels right there. Then it has this back part right here as well. Really cool that these things are made out of actual plastic and not just cardboard themselves. That's pretty sweet. It looks like you put this big sail right there. Is this the front sail? Looks like this is the front sail. You slide it on there. Yep, you got the mast. And then this is the back sail. Oh, wait, there's two of these. Is this correct right here? Oh, no! <laughs> I did it. I destroyed it. Oh, no. That's a shame. I'm going to go get a piece of tape 
and try to put this back together. All right, give me one sec. All right, so I did learn something. Even though they are made of plastic, be very careful with the sails. I had to tape this one together because I was a little too rough with it. Oh man, I didn't even put in the right one. <laughs> uh, yes, this one goes in the middle. There we go, got the sail, it's got its tape on it, it's repaired. My ship is already damaged and it's not even out in the sea. Alright, got the big old mast, it looks like this one goes on top, something like this. There we go. You got your ship stuff, here we go. The little pieces, actually I'll put this one here, I don't really know. I'm just kind of guessing with these little bits on the top. And then I'll put this last one right. I don't know. I'll put it right here. It's just a little extra flare. And this is this ship. So this is the other ship right here. Good quality. Uh, I was a little rough with it. I got some rough hands sometimes, <laughs> and I tend, I tend to, br I broke it. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of cool opening this up and checking it out. And I believe you use these lengths to travel. Um, yes. And S is the smaller white length if you can see on the card and then the L is the longer length as well so let's look at the ship's information right here that's the captain uh, this is the the captain this is the the crew member you got the HMS Europa and the Joy de Sol and then these I, I think are these are garbage there's nothing on here except they were just placeholders these ones you want to keep I believe because they have your ship's information on there so uh, both of these ships move with two S's, I believe. So if you're going to move this ship, you, you line it up and you say 1S, 2S, and there you go. And you set the islands, I think they said it like two to four lengths away. And I believe uh, the red is almost uh, two, or it's like the white is probably one two thirds of the red. So uh, yeah. So you just kind of get, I guess you roll the dice, you decide. I'm not sure what the dice are rolling. I think it has to do with the cannon fire. And each turn you travel uh, with these lengths right here and you just try to go around to different islands to collecting the more than half of the starting gold and whoever collects more than half of the starting gold wins the game. You have to take the gold back to your home island. This is such a fun little set, little game. Never heard of it before. Sp uh, what is it called again? Pirates of the Spanish Main. So much fun to open it up, set it aside, and set the pieces up. Came with the smallest little dice I've ever seen in my life. It came with two little crew things. You got the captain and the crew. Comes with two ships as well. I guess they come in different sizes. I wasn't sure about that. Very cute construction. Just be gentle with it. You can break it. You can see I put some tape on it as well. Came with an island, some gold, and then, uh, yeah, a little collector's thing as well. A little collector's checklist. And then a lot of information on how to play the game. So, ready your fleet. Each player rolls a die whenever you roll. The first player, uh, whoever rolls highest plays first. Okay. All right. Uh, and that's it. Start playing. Turn on this page. Start playing the game. You got your move action. Take turns. Each one of you chooses one of the following actions for each of your ships. You can move a certain distance. No dice rolls required. So each turn, you move the distance it can move. All right. You got explore action. When you dock in a wild island, explore it. Or uh, sink another ship. Uh, stops it from getting gold. So if you sink a ship when it has gold, you stop it. And then you got the repair action. I had to do that already with tape. All right. And then I guess you just play to collect all the gold and stuff. Anyways, it was a really a lot of fun to open this up and check it out with you all. Never seen this before. Never heard of it. Such a fun, interesting idea. It's like a collectible card game that you can make tiny little collectible models. And then you also have a board game with it as well. Such a cool thing. So many layers. A lot of fun. I like little models. I like card games. I like booster packs. And this was kind of a combination of everything right there. Just want to say uh, thank you all for stopping by. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'll catch you all on the next one.